Defending Big Ten champion Purdue, they return four starters. The only departure, NBA first-round pick Caleb Swanigan. Last year, the first outright title for the Boilers in 20 years. Got some work in this summer, too, at the World University Games. Very pleased to be joined now by the head coach of the Boilers, Matt Painter, along with Vince Edwards and Isaac Haas. I want to ask you guys about the World University Games first. How significant was it to get all the practice time that you got and then to get the competition of going over and playing games in Chinese Taipei? Well, I think that's the difference is the competition. A lot of people go on the foreign trips, and that's really hard in early August to get great competition. Since these were the games, the World University Games, you know, the competition was great, and I think that's where the difference is, is being able to go and play quality opponents after getting a lot of practices, not just the, the token 10 practices that you get on your normal trip. What was the biggest thing that you guys learned about your team over there? Vince, I can start with you, and then Isaac, you can follow. Just showing some resilience, uh, just being over there with the guys and getting acquainted with each other. We were able to build chemistry and really get to you know, know each other, not just on the court, but off the court as well. I feel like that's just as important. So just you know, knowing that guys you know, just never gave up. You know, we we're trying to fight for everything and, and just do our best. How about for you, Isaac? Yeah, I'd say the same. You know, the chemistry was just unbelievable. Getting to work with these guys, getting to play with them, everybody developing the roles, especially the young guys coming in. And, uh, you know, it's, it's given us all a chance to kind of define ourselves, you know, as a new team with that biggie. And uh, I think, you know, everybody's filling in the roles the way that we're, they're supposed to. And uh, can't wait for the season to start. Part of the world that not many people your age get a chance to see, certainly United States college students, what was the coolest thing you saw? Uh, the coolest thing I saw, honestly, was Taipei 101, uh, the giant building uh, in the middle of uh, Taipei. That was that was really cool for me because I'm uh, pretty sure it was pretty legendary for how tall it is, you know, honestly. And uh, it's right at the bottom of it. It's a huge mall, and there's a lot of designer clothes and stuff like that. So uh, I thought it was pretty interesting. How about for you, Vince? I would just have to say, uh, just being a part of that opening ceremony, I feel like was the biggest one for me. Uh, being able to be a part of something like that, walk around, seeing you know the love that they showed us as uh, athletes and as Americans over there, I thought that was a really neat experience to be able to get over there and get that type of experience. Matt, what was the balance between wanting to play well over there and represent the U.S. well, which obviously you right. guys did, winning the silver medal, but not tiring your guys out because right. your biggest priority is right. what's coming up here in the next yeah. month? Well, it really worked for us because we had eight games, and uh, I would say about four to five of them are really good opponents and the other ones weren't and so we were able to balance minutes in those other games but also be able to get into those kind of those pressure cooker games where you know you really grow as a team you find out a lot about you know, your team and how they react to certain things so I think that was the best you know but we also we never practiced more than two hours um, we kept things in perspective we didn't do really any conditioning in the fall when we got back uh, just did individual workouts played pickup lifted and so for that and we haven't went more than two days in a row yet in, in, in practice so far. We're going to work towards that, but um, I think it's real important to realize, you know, March is the, the important time for us, and hopefully we'll play our best basketball then. Caleb Swanigan was such an important part of your team, so yeah, you lose one starter, but I mean, he was right. one of the best players in the league and one of the best players in college basketball. So this gave you a bit of a head start into figuring yeah. out how does your team fit together without him. Right. How do you replace his production? Yeah, well, it's, you know, it's kind of ironic about it. These guys have played without him. You know, they're freshman year year you know these guys played and so I got four seniors that played at freshman before he got there and then he had to adjust to our team in his first year and then obviously he became one of the, like you said one of the best players in college basketball so these guys have been through this before they're good players in their own right um, but it, it's still one of those things that I, I think we really balance our offense and defense you know and adjust into it but we still have to make some improvements when shots go up you know, we, you know, he's the guy that goes after him, and we always joke about it. You know, he steals rebounds, too, and he steals them from us. And so, but at times when we're, when we're playing or whatever, he was just that guy for us. But these guys got such good skill level, and they move the basketball. And obviously with Isaac's size and Vince's versatility and Dakota and PJ's experience and their ability to pass the basketball, we have a very, very good mix. Our young guys are good players. And we're excited about that. So we're just really looking forward to the season. This, to me, still feels like one of the most underappreciated teams here. And I don't know why it is. I mean, Vince, you made the all-conference team. But you know, I, I still get the sense that people don't respect the fact that you're the defending champs. You only lost one guy. You went abroad and had such a great year. Do you guys feel 
unappreciated or underappreciated, Vince? I mean, uh, honestly, you know, we always just try to keep level-headed and just stay humble, really. And we just got to stay hungry. We can't really worry about what the press is saying. I mean, do we feel underappreciated sometimes? Yeah. But, I mean, that's just the way it goes. And, you know, we just got to keep playing. We got to keep going. We can't let the press or anybody from the outside, whatever everybody's talking about. We know what we did last year. We know what we need to do this year. And Coach Painter and our coaching staff are doing a really good job of helping us understand that through day in and day out. Isaac, what's the next step for you, particularly with Caleb not on this roster anymore? Uh, trying to average 20 rebounds. Uh, <laughs> you know, it's going to be hard to do. We'll but, hold uh, for that. Right, we'll yeah, hold yeah. for that one. We're working on it. Yeah. But, you know, trying to fill in that rebounding role, uh, being a defensive guy as well, you know, being a defensive presence, being able to stop the, the ball screen, uh, being able to be able to contest shots without getting fouls. And, uh, you know, offensively, just being who I was, you know, all four years and uh, just keeping it simple. Give me a quick sense for the newcomers. Nojel Eastern comes with a ton right. of hype, clearly. Yeah, well, we're, we're excited about it. not just our, you know, our new guys, but Jaquil Taylor's a guy that set out for us that did really well in Taiwan. Matt Harms is a 7'3 kid that set out for us last year that right. I think is really going to help. I think these guys would say, you know, he's really practiced well. Nojel Eastern's going to be a really good player for us. He can play a lot of different positions. But there's a lot of guys out there. You know, guys like Ryan Klein gets lost in the shuffle. He started games for us. Really, really good player. And so there, there's some guys, you know, on our roster, I think they're going to surprise some people but it's also something where we got some older guys that are going to play a lot too so you got to learn to be productive sometimes in 10 15 20 minute spurts and it's going to be really important for those guys to understand that they're you know they're valued guys on our team but they might not be 30 minute type guys you know with this group with the four seniors uh, the head coach of the boilermakers matt painter along with vince edwards and isaac haas guys really good to see you best of luck this year and thanks for spending a few minutes with us thank you for having us thank you